Hey, Bills Mafia, I hope you're well rested. We had our bye week, and now we're coming back to New Era Field to take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, a uh, special guest here, guys. This is my father here, Sam, and um, he's just going to be going over some stuff with me, and we're just going to we're going to get our two heads together on, uh, you know, having having some time off the bye week to see what this Bills team is really about. Now, Jameis Winston, I heard he is going to play. Uh, Dad, do you think that's going to affect us really, whether it's Fitzpatrick or or, or, or Jameis Winston? No, I don't think so. I so, think the game plan has got to be similar. Yeah, so, I mean, that's what McDermott said, too. He said he's pretty much going to prepare for both quarterbacks anyways. And um, But statistically, um, they have a, a pretty good passing game, and they like to air out the ball a little bit. Do you think that slowed down a little bit, you know, with Tredavious, Poyer, and uh, and Hyde in the backfield? How do you think we're going to – we can put a stop to them. I mean, what do you think this game's going to look like? Well, I think the Bills are going to be fired up. They got the rest. They had a tough loss to Cincinnati. Um I'm not worried about the defense. I'm just worried about the offense spreading the field. Yeah, and that's typically what we worry about a little bit here. And, and actually, matter of fact, a fun little fact, we're coming back from Cincinnati right now. We went to the Food Fighters show. Um, but, yeah, it, it, a lot depends on Tyrod. I, you know, last week I thought that LaShawn McCoy was going to start, you know, getting it going a little bit more. But, I, you know, I'm, I'm hoping at home we see a little bit more from him against Tampa Bay. Um, but... You know, I, at three and two right now, two home games back to back. That's huge. I mean, and we're we're undefeated at home right now, and that's got to mean something, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, you win you win your home games. That's huge. So you even, win six or eight at home, you're in the playoffs. Yeah, six or eight at home, you're in the playoffs. And um, I want to give a little shout out to a, a YouTube fan that's been in contact with me. His name's Brandon. Uh, Brandon, thanks for uh, for keeping in contact and being a true fan. I told you I'd give you your shout out, and everyone go to his page, like his page, and um, he's he's a huge fan. So just go 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 to his page and uh, and comment, like, and subscribe. And um, but you know, back to Buffalo here. You know, Jordan Matthews said that he's pro. It, it looks like Jordan Matthews is going to come back. The, I mean, that's got to be crucial to him coming back, even though he's not a Hall of Fame receiver. It's got to help, right? Yeah, yeah it will help stretch, stretch the offense. Stretch the defense, rather. Yeah, stretch the defense. So, you know, it kind of—I think it's going to be somewhat of a high-scoring game. Winston being hurt, you know, you, you never really know. Do you have a prediction for the game? This I see the Bills winning probably like 24 or 10. I think they get going to be a big win. I think McCoy is going to finally break out. Yeah. Um, they got to spread, like I said, Taylor's got to do his part, run the ball. Spread the ball down to downfield and not get sacked. You know, he's been staying you know, in the pocket too long. He's got to play better. Yeah, he, he plays better. It's going to open up from Coy. You know, the offensive line has been doing okay. Yeah, Gary. Yeah, but you know, so I, I it's we're, we're in a position right now where we feel like we pretty much got to win both of these home games, and then we got the Jets Thursday night. I mean, that's even though they look tough, that's favorable. You know, so yeah, you know, in our favor. So we'll really see. And then I believe it's the Saints at home right after that. So three of the next four games are at home. So that that's huge. But um, you know, so I I feel the same. I think the Bills might be in the 30s here. I think I think after this bye week and after the loss to Cincinnati. Yep, that's it. Your EPA. So I'm just figuring out some directions here, guys. But you know, so. My prediction is I think the Bills reach the 30s. I'll go with 30. I'll go with 31-13. Um, I think that's that's somewhere around where we're, where we're gonna be. But uh, you know, and then that'll take us to four and two with the win there. And then Oakland looks good. Marshawn is suspended for the game. He hasn't been doing too much, so I'm not really. I don't think that's a huge factor. You know, for for him being out, do you do you see that being a huge factor? Him being I, out? I I think it's it does, but the, you think it's huge. Yeah, not yeah. having him there is going to hurt them a lot. And, and I'm sure he wanted to play. You know, I mean, going against Buffalo. You know, but you know, guys. So that's 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 pretty much it. I mean, I, the new air feels it's going to be rocking. That's for sure. So again, another statement game here. Every game from here on out, obviously, is but. You know, if we get to four and two, and then we're home against Oakland, man, what a game that can be! Tonight or uh, tomorrow night, we have the Falcons and the Patriots, the rematchable of Super Bowl Fifty Two, correct? Yeah. 
rematch of Super Bowl 52. So, you know, hopefully the Falcons get on their horse and beat one team in the AFC East finally. You know, with uh, Matt Ryan and Julio Jones can hopefully hook up and for the first time all year, you know, they haven't. So, but guys, uh, that, you know, Bills Mafia, if you're going to the game, as always, be safe, do nothing stupid, and let's, uh, let's represent the city well. Um, and, uh, Hopefully we have a good game here. Dad, thanks for thanks for being on the channel. Tell them to be on the look for the, the new book, New York Run. Oh, yeah, and that's good. That's what I was actually, actually going to mention. My dad is a brand-new author here. His book is called New York Run. You're going to be able to get it at lulu.com very soon. Target date's November 1st. So any anybody who's interested in reading, this is basically a... Uh, can you explain it a little bit, Dad? Well, it's pretty much a crime, drama, chase, love story romance, you know, it's got everything in it. And where does this book take place? It's in New York State. Okay, so New York State, obviously called New York Run, so it's kind of a little bit of a, the background of, you know, would you say it's a little bit of a background of what you encountered in life? A little bit, a little, a little bit. bit. So, but very, very fast paced, uh, very, very quick book, very well written, and not just saying that because he's my dad, but the new, it's called New York Run by Samuel L. Torquezio, and it will be available very shortly at lulu.com. How much is the book going to cost? Let them know. Uh, not much. Maybe eleven ninety-five. About eleven ninety-five. dollars ebook, gonna... probably half of that. Yeah. So if you want to do the ebook, it might be half, like you said. But uh, thanks for listening to this, guys, and uh, definitely check that book out, uh, New York Run. And uh, go Bills. If you have a feeling we're going to be strong, you know, despite some injuries, I have a feeling we're going to be strong in this game. So, guys, comment, like, subscribe. Go Buffalo Bills.